What do cyborgs think is humorous? <laughs> we do not know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got him with the <laughs> my God! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he almost malfunctioned. I sketch pet podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. To the you almost at ten thousand subscribers. You know what to do. Share this content, man. So today we're gonna be talking about this guy from the future. Twenty fifty. <laughs> he says he's from the future. He's a cyborg. Tim from the future. And he's explaining it to, to Dr. Phil. We're going to react to this. This guy, this guy, this guy think he's John Connor or something? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he's from the future. So let's see what's up, man. <laughs> who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i can't understand it neither so look man this guy's from the future so we're going to react to this and uh let's get into it principal tenants of your message why did you take time out to come here because we wish to spread our message. Uh-huh. And give me the principal tenets of your message. We are a collective conscious and a cyborg sent from the year 2050, uh -huh. sent from a higher civilization to warn people of the incoming apocalypse. How will it end? <laughs> Yo, I swear he got that from a movie, bro. I was sorry, what? Didn't I hear something like this on a movie, man? I don't mean to laugh, man. I know it's not funny, but it's funny. To, it's funny though, cause <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, bro, look, this dude think he John Connors, man. Bro. What are we? What are we? Bro, come on, bro. You gotta. You gotta get bro. a better. You gotta get a better year. Twenty fifty, bro. That's only like twenty. That's that's literally twenty six years from now. <laughs> <laughs> it's 26 years from now, bro. <laughs> you, you, you know what's crazy? Like, I'm holding back a lot. As far <laughs> no, as, don't like, hold back, like, please. Because, <laughs> I'm, 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 because you know, what I mean, you know, you know the type of population I work with. But I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to attack this with a civil mind without yeah. you know what i'm saying roasting this guy listen man y'all gotta stop with the f foolishness man why are you wasting dr phil's time like why are you wasting his time <laughs> we let, let, like, us, let, let us watch why he's wasting his time <laughs> yo, cause, we need cause to see this I, this is crazy man we got we got people that really are sick and have issues and this guy over here is playing cyborg. Come on, bro. The, listen, bro. L listen. Victor Stone face looking. Come on, oh my come God. Come on. Right, go Realization ahead, go ahead. to warn people of the incoming apocalypse. How will it end? With environmental disaster, okay. technological singularity, disease, and famine. Mm -hmm. And will you... He just how named you, everything that we're going through right now. How are you here, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he said, he said, Tech technological, well, let's see what he said. Mm -hmm. And will you fall victim to that demise at the- With environmental disaster, okay. technological singularity, disease, and famine. Mm -hmm. He said environmental disasters, technological singularities. What does that even mean? Technological singularities. So, what are you saying? Everybody so. is everybody is technically 
technically separate? The singularity means one or, or, or a group of one. So is that what you're saying? Technologically, technological singularities. So what is it? You, another robot, another robot, another robot. Wait, I don't understand that. And disease and famine. Disease. Bro, we've been dealing with diseases for. I just don't think that by 2050, 20 year, 25 years from now, when is when are we going to get hit with this disease? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's let's continue. Yeah. Well, go ahead. You got something to say? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll say it when we're done. With environmental disaster, okay. technological singularity, disease, and famine. Mm -hmm. And will you fall victim to that demise at the same time, the collective you? Our body will. The Orin, real Orin body will, but the collective will stay alive. Uh -huh. And the collective will exist in what plane? I mean, will the planet still be here? The planet will be destroyed. Okay. Will you be mechanized by then? We are already mechanized. But you're not mechanized now. We are. There is a brain implant, which is how we speak to you right now. Orin, Orin is but a shell. Okay. Or you don't have a brain implant. So as you sit here now, you're mechanized. Correct. Okay, because I, I thought I understood you to say that you are becoming mechanized. Yes. We will become fully mechanized as in the commercial sense shown on our shirt. Okay, but, but we are already mechanized. <laughs> but not Wait a minute, <laughs> Let me get this right. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. You couldn't in 2050. You couldn't get a better shirt than that. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, bro, is that so in funny. 2050? You couldn't get a better shirt than that. Listen, man. All Doctor Phil had to do was say, "Let me see that tag on the back of that shirt." Let's scan that. Where did it get me that? It was made in China. <laughs> like what? Yeah. Bro, I can see if you if. Listen, if this dude took his shirt off and his chest was glowing with blue lights, you know what I'm saying? And he took the lights out of his chest, then raised them in the air, you know what I'm saying? And then let it go and it's <laughs> in the air by itself. Then I'd be like, this is some crazy shit. I mean, this is some crazy special effects. I still probably wouldn't believe it. But you're telling me this goofy shirt you got on is <laughs> from 2050? Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, man. <sighs> protect your mental health, people. I'm <laughs> telling you right now, protect your mental health. Oh, man. Because this man right here, this man clearly is bugging out. Oh, my. But I think he's pretending. I think he's being fake. Because you can see his mother is, is disagreeing him with a... Come on, man. Come on. Are you serious? Are you really serious? That shirt, that shirt, that shirt looked like a kindergartner just drew it and gave it to you. Let's go, let's go. Fully. No. Okay, just partially mechanized. Correct. What part of you is mechanized? Our brain, our legs. Okay, your legs are mechanized? Inside, yes. We've okay. had operations. Okay, so if we x-ray your legs, we would see mechanized legs, not bone and muscle. Correct. Would not be the it same. It is a combination of flesh and steel. Right. We are not saying that we are invincible. We are saying that we have merged with technology, with machine. Right. In order to stay alive. I've got really crappy knees, so I Understood. would love to have mechanized <laughs> legs. It'd be a great thing. What do cyborgs do for fun? Learn. What do cyborgs think is humorous? We do not know. <laughs> oh, he got him with the question. Oh, <laughs> my <that> God. <laughs> Yo, he almost malfunctioned. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Yo. I just had, yo, bro, I just had a Johnny Five I'm Alive moment. Remember that movie Short Circuit? Yo. With Johnny Five? With, with, yeah. with, with number five, Johnny Five? Short, yeah. I just had that one type of moment. Yo, 
So you mean to tell me that a robot in a movie got more much more of a sense of humor than you do? <laughs> What the? F- <laughs> what? He should have been prepared for that crap. That right there. Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. Everybody understand. They have, they have uh, automated services, Chat GPT, electronic everything. Right. <clears throat> it go ninety nine percent of these things can do what humans do, but they mm-hmm. can't improvise. That's the, the reason why. You know what I'm saying? The human is better than the, the, the what they call it, sentient, the, the aerobic, robotic being versus the, yeah. the human being. Humans mm-hmm. can literally improvise. These uh, robots or whatever you want to call them, they can't do that. So when he asked them the question, you can tell that he knew right there is mm-hmm. over for him. His kid, mm-hmm. it's the, the jig is up. You took too long to even answer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's just watch that again, because that was hilarious. So I um, understood. <laughs> would love to have mechanized legs. <laughs> It'd be a great thing. What do cyborgs do for fun? Learn. What do cyborgs think is humorous? <laughs> we do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Learning cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he became a human right away. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. You could see the humanity go slide right back into him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Damn. It's, it's crazy, man. Orgs think is humorous. <laughs> we do not know. Are there any cyborg jokes like three cyborgs walked into a bar? <laughs> Humans think that the world will last forever. That is a lie. That is funny. Yeah. First of all, first of all, no. humans do not believe that the world will last forever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, was like, I don't know where you got that from. Is, I don't know where you got that from neither. <laughs> humans think that the world is gonna. They, they literally think the world's gonna. Uh, they thought through uh, climate change that the world was gonna blow up <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, you ever heard of Mayan know, calendar? Thought... Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of Mayan calendar? So... Yes. What? <laughs> what you ever you... heard of the Bible? You ever who heard the t- Bible? Who taught you this, cyborg man? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely, he definitely bugged <laughs> you out, from, man. You from, you're you're terrible. from 2050. <laughs> you're a terrible cyborg. You from 2026. 20, uh, <laughs> <For real. laughs> My man Johnny Five's a better cyborg than you. Yeah. You're a robo. Cops are better than nigga. You. Come on, bro. Stop, bro. <laughs> and, and on top of that, he said, humans think that he said humans think that the world isn't gonna end. We find that kind of funny. Why would you find that funny? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it will last forever. That is a lie. That is funny. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Do you form relationships? Yes. We must get out our message and collaborate with people. And you say you don't want to tie yourself up with a job because if you have a job, you can't spread your message. Correct. Our job is spreading the message. I have a job and spread my message. I mean, it works for me. And that's why you do your music, right? Correct. When did you find that you had musical talent? Have you always had that awareness? There's always been an interest in sonics, yes. Uh Humans are innately connected to rhythm and beat. Do you enjoy the music? It is pleasing, yes. The, the, the human trouble. mind is a terrible thing to waste. We in trouble, man. Uh, Elza would say we in trouble. We got too many... There's too many people just faking to, for a viral moment, man. Like... It, this is... To me, we had a point, man, where social media has destroyed everything, man. Like <clears throat> everybody yep. has a, a everybody has a, a what they call it. Uh, everybody has has this mental connection to everything, and it's like you could read a book now. 
And because you feel it so much, you believe that's the truth. Mm -hmm. it's, it has gotten that bad. It's this is absolutely insane. But that was a fascinating clip, man. That's all I got to say. Man, listen. Uh, this guy, man. Um, stop faking the funk, man. Go to school. Get you an education. Learn a trade. Stop disappointing your family, man, with this facade. You said you like music. Go to Full Sail or something. Learn how to make beats. Learn how to rhyme, sing, whatever you do. I stop don't faking the funk, bro. Like, seriously, stop it, man. Go to school. Learn a trade. You say you make music. Go to Full Sail or something. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Because that was the worst impersonation of a robot I've ever seen in my whole entire life. You mean it's From Johnny Five. <laughs> Johnny Five. I'm alive, Johnny Five. You remember the movie Short Circuit? Yeah. He's a better robot than you. Robocop's a better robot than you. At least they was from, they was from the future future. He uh, from facts. He from a couple of years from now. <laughs> Oh, Schwarzenegger was a better robot than you. Yeah. He's from Future Scott. Future. At least they had oh liquid. My. Like, if this dude pans turning liquid, it's like, yeah, from 20. Like, what can Dr. Phil has said? If his hands, if he went like this and his hands turned to long liquid nails or something. Like, come on, bro. Like, you would have to show me. Just, if I was Dr. Phil, I'd say, okay, well, can you pull your pants leg up? Stab yourself in the leg. Let's see what happens. Let's see if you bleed blue or green blood. We want to see the metal inside your legs. Like, he probably would have did it too. Anyway, man, we out of here. Sketchpad, you know what it is. See y'all. Peace, man. Have a good night. See y'all.